Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event. Ten rounds, middleweights going at it. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. His adversary, fighting out of Chicago, Ricardo Alvarez. Fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. And he returns on that exchange. Solid left. More than one, and it's just what he wants. Hayes is scoring with that right hand. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. What does the jab offer him here? Victory. It's as simple as that. It sure is. Fires right back at him. Hayes' defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Back and forth exchange. Not an accurate hook at all. Nice strike after catching one by Hayes. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Teddy, in this matchup, in this matchup that it's really obvious to see that we have a guy that likes to box from the outside against a very unorthodox, awkward, and athletic fighter, what is the one thing that the boxer has to be conscious of? Well, what he has to be conscious of is the reason why this guy is called awkward and unorthodox is he has a lot of flaws. You know, he makes a lot of mistakes, so allow him to make the mistake. Look, understand what he likes. He likes chaos. He likes turmoil. He wants you to walk into, you know, that, that messy room. You know, your kid makes messy rooms sometimes. All the time. Yeah. Well, he wants you to walk into that messy room. Don't walk into it. Stay back. Let him come to you a little bit and take advantage of his mistakes. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watching in Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong. Never took a step backwards, kept going forward. Come on now. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Targeting that straight left hand. Unable to score with the hook. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Left to the body. And now they're trading blows. A stabbing right hand by Hayes. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. That was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. You are not working.
underway. How about a return to center with the left hand? Blocks away that headshot. Good flush shot by Hayes. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Combination punching is working well here. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Hayes. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Hayes is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Blah, blah, come on. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Come on, come on. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Stairs and was off the mark. <laughs> Hayes is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Hook by Hayes. You're fighting his fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. Don't knout yourself. You can still win this one. Keep it up, keep it up. That's it now. Nice work, Doc. Keep fighting smart and keep it. Don't take a break. You need to cover up more. Okay? You're leaving yourself up. Number three is underway. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Hayes. Go, go. Wow, a big flush blow. The left hand by Hayes. Hayes has almost got like a viper quality to him, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he attacks real quick, comes in, strikes before you know what hit you. Yeah, he's very quick, and that is his style. He likes to get into his damage and get out. Right now, his opponent can't match him with that physical ability. What he's got to do is try to time him on the way in. Boy, right on target with that double jab. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Left hand and score with it. Nice work, nice work. Hey, 
match. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Hayes. Come on! Halfway through this round. Little head hunting with the left. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. Really on target there with a three punch combination. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Blocks that punch. Good fundamental work, landing the one-two there. There it is! Well, you knew his opponent could crack, and now he knows too. He is down. Right now, he's actually thinking about what he's gonna do. Am I gonna get up? to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. with that headshot. And that does it for this round. Beautiful. I want another round exactly like this. This is your fight, all right? We control the world fight. Now listen to me. Your best. Start of round number four. Hayes' well-skilled plan has earned him every round on your scorecard, Teddy. Yeah, he hasn't always been the aggressor, but he's definitely been the more effective puncher. Landing the clean shot. Tying up again here after being knocked down. What should his opponent be doing to deal with this? See, that's the right question. We're just looking at the guy grabbing. His opponent is a lot. Oh, he is stunned. He could go solid. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's got number four. What about this time? And it's over. Look at this. Hayes' hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way of knockouts, your winner, Tishon. you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch, can a guy defend, you know, can a guy control distance, but you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.